welcome to Kids Academy. Hi there, I'm Leo. And these are my friends, Danny, Mia, and Sophie. We live in the ocean. Oh no, look, a huge hungry shark. It's going to eat us all up. Will you help us hide so that the shark will not find us? Oh, thanks. Where can I hide? In the yellow sand? By that orange coral reef? Maybe near that pink seashell? Or by the green stone? You got it. I'll hide in the yellow sand because I'm yellow too and the shark will not see me. Maybe I should hide near that pink seashell. No, that's not a good idea. I'm orange. So I'll hide by that orange coral reef and blend in with it. The shark won't see me. I'm pink. Where should I hide? Near that pink seashell. Good thinking, everybody. I think I ought to hide by the green stone because I'm green and the stone is green too. <laughs> the shark won't find me. Thanks for helping us hide from the angry shark. Bye bye. Look what's happened. A terrible storm came through last night and mixed everything up. I'm Echophorn, and I'm a wizard. I'll wave my magic wand and put things back together again. Do you want to help me? Oh, great. Where should we put the roof, do you think? You got it. On the house. And those branches? Maybe on that tree. Great! How about the car? Where does it belong? Hmm, I'm already scratching my head. See those wheels? The car and the wheels belong together. Good work, everybody! And the doghouse. I think we ought to put it right here. The job is done. Thanks for helping me. Bye bye. Hi, I'm Mom.
Monica. You're so bright and colorful. Hi, I'm Tom. In my country, everything is brightly colored. But things aren't looking so colorful here. Why is all the color disappeared from your town? A wicked witch cast a spell on our country. She stole all the color at night while we were sleeping. Everything has been gray since then. There's only one way we can make the colors come back. I've got some paint and a brush with me. We're gonna use them to color in all around the town. I'm so excited. What do we start with? Let's color in the sky. The sky is blue. The sun will be orange. We'll add a splash of bright color to the trees, bushes, and flowers. We'll color in those houses too. Let's make this house yellow. And that one white. And that one over there pink. <laughs> We've got our wonderful, colorful town back. Thanks for helping us color in our town. We did a great job together. Don't let the Wicked Witch steal all the color again. I've got to go back now. Bye bye Hey everybody, I'm Matt, and these are my friends, Charlotte, Andy, Zoe, and little Benny. We have our birthday today. What better way to celebrate a birthday than with a sweet cake and a few candles? Oh my, somebody's mixed up our cakes. Can you find the right cake for each of us? I'm one year old today, so my cake has one candle on it. Can you see any cakes with one candle? Right, this is my birthday cake. I'm two today, so my birthday cake has how many candles? Two candles. Where is the cake with two candles? <laughs> Here it is. I'm three today, so there are how many candles on my cake? Three, and my cake is this one. I'm four today. Can you see a cake with four sparkling candles on it? Right, this is my cake. I'm five today, and the cake with five candles is this one. Hooray! We've got our birthday cakes and we're ready for our birthday party. Everybody shout, happy birthday! Welcome to Kids Academy. Hi there, I'm Martin, and these are my brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles, nephews and nieces. We're so excited! It's spring now, and time to build our own nests. We need to find tree hollows for our nests. Look at that tree! I can see three tree hollows in it. Our nest will be warm and safe there. The wind won't blow them away. Jack, Steve, and Bob. These three hollows are for you. Tony and Mark, these two tree hollows are for you. That tree's got five hollows for five birds. Now that I've found the tree hollows, we can start building our nests.
We're all gonna be good neighbors. Bye bye. Hi there, I'm Macy, and I'm cleaning my house. Will you help me put away the things that belong in the bathroom? You will? Goody, goody! A rubber ducky. Do you think it belongs in the bathroom? Sure. How about a bottle of shampoo? Definitely! A cushion? No, definitely not. A frying pan? No, that's just silly. A bath towel? Absolutely. A bar... <laughs> a bar of soap? Of course! A watering can? Well, maybe in some bathrooms, but not in mine. Thanks for helping me organize the things in my bathroom. It looks tidy now. Bye bye. Hi, I'm Lucas. My mom did the laundry yesterday and all of my clothes got mixed up. I can't find the t-shirt and cap that best match my shorts. Will you help me? You will? Great. What pattern is decorating my shorts? Stripes. My shorts are striped, so we need to find a striped t-shirt and cap. Look at this t-shirt. Is it striped? Nah, it's polka dotted. How about this one? It's striped. Do you think this cap will go well with my t-shirt and shorts? No, because it's not striped. It's polka dotted. How about this cap? You got it. This cap is striped. Thanks for helping me choose the best outfit for a hot summer day. Bye bye. Hi there. I'm Lucas, and this is Emmy. It's so much fun to build sand castles. But we need to organize our beach toys now. I've got a blue bucket, and Emmy's bucket is pink. Do you want to help us sort our sand toys? Oh, thanks! Which bucket do you think we should put this rake in? You got it! Blue, because the rake is blue too. This shovel is pink. I think we ought to put it in the pink bucket. Great! And the pink sifter should go in the pink bucket too. Sorting stuff is lots of fun. How about the blue shovel? Which bucket should it go in? Blue, good job. This rake goes in the pink bucket because the rake is pink. This sifter is blue, so we should put it in which bucket? Blue. Great sorting, everybody. Thanks for helping us sort our sand toys. Bye-bye. When we look at objects, we notice different things about them, like their color, their shape, and their size. We can group objects together that are the same, like objects that have the same color or shape or size. Today, we're going to talk about sorting objects by size. Let's take a look at some animals. Look at all of these awesome elephants. There's Eddie and Billy. I also see three other elephants, Jackie, Jade, and Jeffrey. I see big elephants and small elephants. One way we can sort or group these elephants is by size. Let's find all of the small elephants. Eddie is a big elephant. He does not belong in the group with the small elephants. Billy is also a big elephant. He does not belong in the group with the other small elephants either. What about Jackie? 
Is she a big or a small elephant? She's a small elephant. She must be a young elephant. She belongs in the group of small elephants. Jade is small too. She looks like Jackie. Maybe they're sisters. She belongs in the group of small elephants too. Whoa, check out Jeffrey. That's one cool elephant and he's small too. He also belongs in the group of small elephants. Are there any other small elephants? I don't see any. Great job sorting these elephants by size. Let's try sorting one more group of objects by their size. Check out these cakes. I love cake. There's some chocolate cakes and vanilla cakes. Some cakes are big and some cakes are small. Yum. That's a lot of cakes. And there's a few different ways we can sort them. But today, let's sort them by size. Let's find all the big cakes because who doesn't want a big cake? I see different colored or flavored cakes, but I know we want to sort by size. I think I'm going to ignore the flavor and color of the cakes for now and just look for the size. Remember, we want to find the big cakes. It doesn't matter what flavor or color they are. This cake is big. Let's put it in the group of big cakes. This cake is also big. We can put it in the group of big cakes too. Do you see any more big cakes? Yes, this cake is big. Let's put it in the group of big cakes. Now there are no more big cakes. Today, we learned how to sort objects by size. I'll leave you with the challenge. Can you find all the small teddy bears? I'll give you some time to think, but if you need more time, you can pause the video and answer when you're ready. Okay, here's the answer. Here are the small teddy bears. This yellow teddy bear is small, and this blue teddy bear is small too. We can put them both in the group of small teddy bears. Great job. Remember, when you are sorting objects by size, make sure the objects you put in the group are all the same size, no matter the color. Thanks for watching, boys and girls, and we'll see you next time. When we look at a group of objects, we can sort the objects into three groups. The first thing we should do before we start sorting is to look at the objects and the names of the groups. It looks like we'll be sorting some animals into different groups. It looks like we have some awesome elephants, some fantastic frogs, and some beautiful bears. Awesome! Let's sort group by group, or in this case, animal by animal. We'll find and sort all of the same type of animal before moving on to the next type. We can start with elephants, and then move on to frogs, and finally the bears. Let's get started. Here's an elephant. Awesome! Let's put him in the group for elephants. Can you find any more elephants to sort? Aha! Here's another elephant. Let's put him in the group of elephants too. Are there any more elephants? I can't see any. Let's move on to the next group of animals. We can check our work at the end to see if we've missed any animals. Now, let's find the frogs and sort them. I found the first frog. Let's put him in the group for frogs. Can you find any more frogs to sort? Got another. We can put this frog in the group for frogs too. Are there any more frogs left? Yes, there are. Here's the last frog. Let's put him in the group for frogs and we can move on to sorting the bears. This isn't so hard finding and sorting one animal or one group at a time. Here's the first bear. Let's put him in the group for bears. Can you find any more bears to sort? Here's the last bear. It's also the last animal. All of the other animals have been sorted. 
Let's put this bear in the group for bears. Great work. Let's try to sort one more group of objects. We'll get started together, but I'll ask you to finish sorting these objects on your own during challenge time. This time, the groups will be different, so we'll have to pay close attention to details. Here, we have a group of shapes. We'll be sorting them into triangles, squares, and circles. Let's use the same strategy as before and sort group by group, or in this example, shape by shape. Let's start with the triangles. Here's the first triangle. Let's put it in the group for triangles. Are there any more triangles? Well, now it's your turn. I'll leave you with a challenge. I want you to finish sorting the shapes into three groups. I'll give you some time to think, but if you need more time, you can pause the video and answer when you're ready. Okay, here's the answer. Here's the other triangle. Let's put it in the group for triangles. It's the last one. Now we can find all the squares. Here's the first square. Let's put it in the group for squares. Here's another. It belongs in the group for squares too. And finally, here's the last one. It also belongs in the group for squares. The only shapes we have left are two circles. They both belong in the group for circles. Let's put them both in the circle group. Great work on the challenge. Remember to look at all the objects and the names of the groups carefully before you start sorting. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. See you next time. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.